Hello everybody, welcome to this series where I'm going to be creating a Blender model, a Blender train, I guess you could say. It's a model I will be creating in Blender uh, that will be a train. It's going to be a fairly simple train. Um, yeah, I'm going to be using Blender 2.83. I'm going to be showing you how to download that and much more. And when I've created the train, I want to show you guys how to actually get it into for example, Roblox or just Train Simulator, for example. That is like a fairly hard one. Um, but I think we're gonna do use Train Simulator for this uh, simple train. It's pretty easy and let's just get started. So we gotta first of all get the Blender version that I use. It's like the easiest one I personally think. Um, so we're gonna go up to this page that says blender.org. I'm going to be leaving all the links in the description. Uh, we're going to go to download. Then we want to go to this thing that says previous versions. Download every version of Blender right here. And then we have every single version of Blender from the, the oldest to the newest. Um, we want to find the one that says 2.83. It's right here. Uh, it's like, yeah, it's like right here. Then we get a whole bunch of other. Now this may seem like confusing, but it's not really that confusing. So we want to find the version I use because that's what I'm going to be using. And I think that would be the easiest for you. But there are a lot of other versions. But for the purpose I'm going to be using it for, we would be using this. Um, Blender 2.83.2. We're going to be use finding this that says Windows 64.msi uh, You must have a 64-bit Windows, else I don't think it would work. I have a 64 myself, but I don't really know about the 32 bits. Uh, we're going to be clicking it and it would start downloading. And then once that's downloaded, you want to finish uh, up the download, tell it where to download, and after you've done that, you want to find your Blender and click Enter, or search Blender and click Enter, open your Blender basically. And then we have this block here. Next, we're going to be finding a plugin I, I'm using for Train Simulator. It's a, it's, it's a must-have must, must have plugin, unless you can't really uh, create rolling stock, for example, for Train Simulator. So we're going to be searching for Brioche. That's like a exporting plugin and other stuff like that. Uh, we got to be finding the Train Simulator.no. Click that. Then you see here, it says 2.0. 7.9. We're not using 2.79, so we want to click the get add-on. So once you're in here on this page, you want to be go. You want to go scroll down till you find this download section. We want to be getting this or clicking this big green button. You want to make sure it says latest 2.8 plus version, Brioche G 2.83 package. We want to be clicking that. Then it, it's gonna download. Open it. And then we have the file here. You want to then go out to your, Jesus Christ, I have a lot of open, sorry about that. I'm going to go out to your desktop. You want to find this brioche and put it out here. There we have it. Now we got to go into our blender and then we want to go out to edit and then find this preferences. Then we want to go up to this, all this tab that says add-ons. Up here you want to search for, not, well not search for, but you want to click the install button right here. And then you want to find out to your desktop and find the brioche.zip file. And then you have it right here. And then because I already have it, it's not working. Uh, but that is what you do. Then you want to be searching for... Brioche, and then you want to enable it right here. Then when you're done with that, you can uh, open up here on the file, go down to export and see if it works. If you see these two that says tsshape.igs and tsanimation.ia, it is working correctly and you have done it. Then you don't need to do more. You can also check by going over and finding the, the texture for the cube right here and uh, you want to go down and if you see the IGS options then you have it 
this is where we're going to be using all the textures and stuff but this is primarily for train simulator so that is basically all what you're going to do uh, today and then I'll see you guys in the next episode of this little series I'm going to be creating where we create a fairly simple train for train simulator and actually getting it in uh, we're not going to be doing some engine sounds we're probably going to do a horn and lights of course and a few animations so i'll see you guys in the next episode